Okay, this is just a quick video on how to um, change the lens cover on the um, DJI Mini 3 Pro. So, um, the reason you might want to do this is if you want to add uh, basically something like ND filters or a CPL filter, which is a um, circular polarizer. Um, I, I won't go into depth about this about that because it's just kind of a how-to on how to change them but um, I could talk a little bit about um, you know why you might need them afterwards but essentially what you need to do is um, just make sure the drone switched off so the um, you know there's no tension in the gimbal if you if you try and do this with the gimbal switched on um, you're essentially going to be adding a lot of force against the gimbal and you've got the, the sort of possibility of breaking it and you know, I mean, all of the drone is, there are quite a lot of delicate bits to a drone, but the, the gimbal is one bit that could be really easily broken. So um, when you're doing this, just make sure it's switched off and you can kind of move the, you know, you can move the camera around and it's it's kind of not locked or anything. Um, it's really simple to change these, so don't kind of be put off um, buying additional things because you're worried about removing this. It's, it's a really simple process. You, you literally just put your fingers top and bottom of the camera um, and then put your fingers either side of this. You could do it top and bottom or left and right, but I, I kind of do it from the sides, it's easiest. And all you need to do is just ever so slightly turn it anti-clockwise. So if we just really, there we go, it doesn't take much force at all. And then this part just comes off. And then you can see this piece that's already on there is actually nothing to it. There's no lens or anything in there. It's, it's, it's just a cover. So um, this piece can come away and then um, a, a lot of sets will usually kind of give you a cloth I mean it's basically you know using a camera 101 is, is just having a having a smudge free kind of clean lens so if you um, kind of take take this again just really really softly just kind of go around just with a, a soft cloth this is basically came with the filters but you know it's, it's just a glasses cloth it's nothing special just make sure you're not using anything abrasive that's going to scratch the lens or anything like that just just use a soft cloth um, and then yeah just uh, take out the filter you want in this set um, it's basically a set of NDs and one CPL filter so um, you know we've got various strengths in this set it's 8 to 128 um, and that's why I kind of like this set it's a really good range of um, ND filters plus the um, CPL filter. So um, what we can do, uh, we'll just take the ND8 filter just as an example. Um, and then all we need to do, I mean, what you can do, some of these are a little bit awkward to kind of get behind just because of the way they kind of are, you know, they've got the uh, the clips on the inside, so they can be quite difficult to get to the backs of. But um, again, just make sure you kind of give it a clean, make sure there's no dust or bits in there. Because the last thing you want to do is try and improve your shots using ND filters or a CPL filter and then you actually end up making it worse by introducing a big smudge or you know just a load of dirt to the um, to it so we're going to do the same thing put it on you'll see it will kind of rest on there just so it's like just off at a tilt anti-clockwise and then all we do is just click it into place softly Oops, sorry I didn't want to go um, I might have to put my hands under it to get that one to go so actually, let me just take it off and do that again. There we go. So sometimes they do get into a place where they're a little bit kind of stuck. But if you just hover that over the top and turn it, if, if there ever is too much force, you probably just need to reposition it because it should just be very easy to kind of go on and off. So you don't want to break any of um, any of these parts on here that um, kind of catch the filter on there. So if you are having to give it too much force, just kind of take take the filter off and just reposition it and um, you'll find that it, it should just go on like I say with hardly any any kind of force and again don't sort of put too much pressure on the gimbal either and then once it's on you know the odds are you've probably touched it quite a lot with your fingers so you can just kind of um, give it a clean again just make sure it's clean and ready to go um, you'll find with most filter sets I mean most of them are the same they're usually the same filter sets that have just all been rebranded <laughs> um, but what you'll kind of find is 99% um, of them they will still allow you to put the gimbal cover on even with the um, uh, the polarizing filter which is the, the sort of the biggest one usually of the set so there's usually no problems there you can kind of get this uh, get this kind of back on the on the top without 
any issues and um, it should just kind of sit in there sit in there happily so um, I mean really like I say you, you know it's really easy to just kind of swap these out just just when you want to so there's no reason to um, to really not get an, a set of ND filters and if if you're kind of unsure as to why you would get a set it's really um, you know if you if you're shooting on really bright days um, having a set of ND filters is going to give you um, a lot more kind of flexibility over how you're shooting um, you, you can end up quite sort of um, locked into certain settings if um, if you don't use an ND filter and it, it really depends you know time of day and, and things like that but you know if you're planning on shooting sort of the middle of the day and it's quite sunny it's going to be really beneficial to have some ND filters and um, for me a CPL filter or um, like a circular polarizer is, is a really useful thing to have because um, I live sort of by the by the coast by the sea so um, a lot of the jobs that I get people quite often want me to um, be I'd shoot from like a boat or it will be near the coast anyway um, and a CPL filter will reduce a lot of um, reflection that you get so um, shooting over the over the sea um, you'll find the shots look really really clean if you're kind of using something like that you get a lot of less reflection and the same would be true if you were kind of shooting buildings or something like that it reduces a lot of the reflection from um, the the sort of glass windows so um, yeah they, they can be really useful like having a little set of filters like this and you know they're not too expensive you can get quite nice sets for about sort of 50 pounds 60 dollars that type of thing so you know comparatively to the price of the drone it's, it's really not like a great deal of money to to be spending just for um for the sort of additional um kind of image quality that you can kind of receive out of these and a little bit of it is trial and error and obviously things change you know you might start flying with um a certain filter and then actually you know the things can uh you know the the actual um the light can change and you know you might be better off with a different one but um, I mean, I often find it's, it's better with one than without, so um, it's it's not too much of a problem. But yeah, it's certainly um, certainly not something to kind of worry about um, buying a set of them because you're worried about kind of um, ruining the camera on the drone or anything. Like I say, the, um, the they're actually really good as well. I I, I didn't realise I was flying in a different weight class. Um, so I didn't actually realise um, that they did uh, these kind of aluminium. I've gone for the like the plastic options, but they do um, aluminium and plastic versions of these now, and they keep you in the same weight class, which is amazing. I I actually didn't know that until um, it was uh, Daximus told me about it, and yeah, it's, I'm really impressed that um, they they kind of managed to do that because um, you know, like I say, this this is just a you know a plastic guard essentially or a plastic cover so it's um yeah it's really great that you can kind of get these and stay under you know 250 grams so it's uh yeah it's well worth kind of um well worth considering if um if you're flying a drone like this but yeah hopefully that's helped um if it has give the video a like uh if you want to see more content about the um dji mini 3 pro then uh please subscribe